And so this filming locations video begins in the hills of Hollywood. Hello, Smokey the Bear. We've got one Ghostbusters day in LA with Tampa J. Hey, that all rhymes. I didn't plan that. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. As you can see, we begin before the Hollywood Hills. Today, I'm doing something I always have wanted to do. June 7th, 1984. That will be 40 years ago this summer. They released the all-time, well, my all-time favorite movie, Ghostbusters, such a classic. Egon Spangler, Ray Stance, Peter Venkman, Winston Stedemore, also Louis Tolley, Dana Barrett, all my favorite characters. Oh, I'm gonna forget a few. Walter Peck, don't forget Mr. D uh, Mr. Peck. If you like Ghostbusters, I hope you enjoy this tour today. I am also going to Sony Pictures. I'm gonna do the studio tour. That's later in the afternoon in Culver City. Today I'm visiting the Los Angeles filming locations to Ghostbusters. I've never seen these before. I am, I've been here a few days. I, I haven't been this excited yet. So I really love this movie. It's a huge part of my life. Uh, always referencing it. I just can't thank you guys enough for being here. And if you're a fan of the movie, I hope you enjoy this video. So what I'm doing is I'm going to downtown LA and I'm going to look and see the filming locations, the interior filming locations where they filmed the firehouse, the library, and the hotel. All of those scenes were not filmed in New York. They were filmed here in LA. I have visited those New York locations uh, so many times, every time I'm in New York, I always go by the firehouse, but today is my very first time seeing these locations. And then after that, we'll go do the studios tour. My very first time doing a real studios tour at Sony. They filmed a lot of the new movies there. Uh, the new Ghostbusters movies have a lot to do with Sony Pictures, and uh, so I thought that would be fun. I'm ready for it. Are you? Somebody get me the Ghostbusters. Gosh, this is finally going down. This is finally going down. I'm glad to have a channel now so I can document this first time because the first time I ever went to the Ghostbusters Firehouse Ladder 8 in Tribeca, New York, I wasn't filming that very first time and I really couldn't record the excitement. I did the second time I, when I went back, I would have the channel, but I really couldn't record or capture that excitement because I, I didn't film back then and I really think I'm gonna rechannel that today. I'm trying not to lose my crap, as they say. Okay, we got one. Here we go, Ghostbusters filming locations, LA, Tampa J. Are you ready? There's much ahead. All right, I wanna make sure I capture my reaction real time. Now on East 5th Street here in Skid Row, the old fire station number 23, the interior scenes. To Ghostbusters. That station is Your right there. Your destination is on the right. Holy cow. Man, it looks like the door's open. Yes. And we have arrived on foot across from Ghostbusters HQ LA right here in Skid Row. The address is right there, 225 East 5th Street. Now, we've been to the one, the Ghostbusters HQ in New York, of course. Both fire stations were built in 1912, the one here and the one back in Tribeca. So it was very easy to make this look like a practical location to fit the fire station for New York. I can't believe I'm finally freaking here. The door's open, it's totally changed inside, but we're gonna go take a look. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh wow, there's the staircase back there. So the, oh, that's where, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of the movie, I'm a huge fan. I believe that's where Ray Stance came down the yeah. old fire poles there. Yeah, you see the stacks right there coming up? Yeah, the that's fire the shoots. Yeah. You could still make out some of the wall. Oh, and the woodwork used to be there, there's the frame. Everything's gonna see, that's all the green tile. Okay. See right here? Yeah. This stuff. Oh, that, there's some of the green tile. Yeah. Whoa, that's amazing. And, and there, have, you have some of the doors right behind the uh, wood back there. 
Okay. Yeah, the, all the stuff that's uh, historic, you know, it's at a fire, it's at uh, 7th Street, locked up. Okay, so they, they saved some of that original yeah. stuff to bring back, back in. Back where, right where the, the, the boxes is right there, right there where the plywood is, there's the, remember the whole, horse stalls? There's some horse stalls way before that. I don't think that was in the Ghostbusters movie. Yeah. But yeah, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. No, yeah, 1912 yep. is what I read. Yep. Oh, wow. So that's the staircase yeah, that Dan know. Aykroyd mm -hmm. runs up. Hey, let me go get my stuff. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, yeah. So the office was... I didn't realize there was two doors. There, there was an office back there. Right. Is there a basement in here? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder Probably. if they... They filmed the movie down there. Right down the stairway, you go around. Containment. Where that water jug is? You go yeah. right down there. There's, I can't just let you go. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. I really appreciate you letting oh, me come yeah, in this no, far. No just the, this is my favorite movie of all time. <laughs> it's amazing to be in here right now. I'm trying, trying to keep it together. Whoa. Mm -hmm. The original doors that you see them come in and out of the Ecto-1. Dana Barrett walking through this door, Sigourney Weaver. Yep. When she comes to see the Ghostbusters, that's the door. I'm gonna put screenshots in the lower right hand corner. The Ecto-1 coming through, parked right here. Dan Aykroyd, Ray Stance working on it. Janine's desk down there. I am trying to hold it together right now. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, you're welcome, I'm glad I made your day. You made my day, I came all the way from Florida. Did yeah. you see this? Pretty much, yeah. Really? Yeah, I've always wanted to be you in know, here. this was just part of the movie, you know, they did a lot of it in New York. New York, and I've been to those locations. Okay. Yeah. I wish, I, I wish we had more up for you to see what, what's going to be. You know what? This is, I, I'll be back, yeah, come back and, uh, when it's restored. I'll be up. Right where the restrooms are? Yeah. We're putting an elevator down all the way up. We're going to have elevators now. It's gonna, yeah, it's going to be really good, but they're going to try to keep most of it historic. You know what I mean? Right. Okay, I look forward to it. Is there an opening date? Uh, I can't even know. Nah. We've been on this might be might be a couple years. We've been on this already four years. Wow. You know, it, it, since it's um, historic, it takes a lot longer. You know what I mean? Right. What a treat! Oh my gosh. I'm glad you're happy. Thank you so much, You're my friend. It's gonna be hard to top this moment. <laughs> Come back, and you're gonna see it. See I'll be back. For okay, sure. If I'm here, or if my my uh, if I, if I'm my guy is here. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'll definitely look you up. I got inside the freaking Ghostbusters firehouse. I want to thank that person so much. I don't know if he wants me to say his name, but he was so kind. He actually works for the city of Los Angeles, and he said that they will be restoring this, and it will be back, and we'll be back to see it restored to what it looked like during the time of the film. I didn't expect to get in there. Wow. They also filmed Ghostbusters 2 inside here as well. The little kids party with young Jason Reitman. Hey, I thought they were gonna be He-Man. They actually made that scene up there. That was the party scene. They cut from the door that I showed in my Ghostbusters 2 video a few years back. They cut from that door and started filming the interior scenes back up in Station 23. Just wanted to throw that in here. They've used this multiple times over the years as well. If you remember The Mask, I believe 1994, Stanley Ipkiss, Jim Carrey dropped his car off here. If you watch that movie, the garage, the car garage, if you look in the background, it's the Ghostbusters HQ. It's the same filming location. And now several blocks down the street, downtown LA, 506 South Grand Avenue, the address of the Los Angeles Biltmore Hotel, AKA the Sedgwick Hotel from Ghostbusters. No, that was not in New York City. The hotel scenes, the Ghostbusters first call was filmed right here in LA. The lobby and the ballroom scene when they're capturing their first ghost, AKA Slimer. That was all filmed here. Also, a filming location for Beverly Hills Cop, 1984. And also that building might look familiar to you, right above the Biltmore. That is the skyscraper from Speed. 
the elevator sequence. That's the one right there. All right, now right across from the Biltmore Hotel, this is Fifth Street. Over there is where we just were in the square. This door right here is where the Ghostbusters enter the Sedgwick Hotel. All right, so pay attention to this screenshot. The Ecto-1 coming up to the curve before the Biltmore. Notice the golden doors in the doorway are open. You've got the three windows, the skylights, the awning, and then those giant windows behind the Ecto-1 up and to the left. All of that, and now here we are today, filming over to the exact spot where the Ghostbusters came to the hotel. Down there in the lower right hand corner. Holy crap. Venkman, Spangler, and stands right through those doors. This moment right here. Whoa. Okay, let's go see if we can find that. All right, so this is where they walked in. On the font, right there on the window, the font says, please use main entrance on Grand Avenue. So I have to come around to get inside the Biltmore. But this is where they walked in. You don't really see them come in this angle, but that's the door. Hoping to get inside. And oh my gosh, okay, there's a lot of people, some sort of an event going on. Here I am, right there. Now inside, that is where the Ghostbusters walk through. Bear with me on the lighting, very dim. So they come right through the doors and then they walk meet the concierge about right here you don't see this angle the camera is kind of in front of them and follows their walk uh face forward down this hallway into the elevator oh my gosh this is so cool to be here right there murray Aykroyd and rest his soul ramus here you go okay i'm trying to do this then and now right here check it out i'll put it into frame they have met up with the concierge. Nothing has changed in here. This is a very historic and beautiful hotel. What are you guys supposed to be? Some kind of a cosmonaut? I am about to lose myself right here. Ghostbusters would have came to the elevators right here. This is when they run into the gentleman smoking the cigar. What are you supposed to be? Some kind of a cosmonaut? We're exterminators. Someone saw a cockroach up on 12. So I'm thinking they filmed this on another floor because if you look behind the gentleman there, you see a curtain, a window. That is not here on the bottom floor on the main level. Yeah, so they filmed that same elevators, but just a different floor. And that goes into my uh, next thing. They didn't film the Slimer scene, that he slimed me scene, those scenes, those hallway scenes. Those were built on a set, so they didn't film those here. Also, when the lady uh, gets blasted with the proton pack, the cleaning lady, that reaction was real. They blew up that cart for the effect and they didn't tell her. And that reaction in the movie was real. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> they didn't film that here either, that was a set. Also, when they actually get in the elevator, it's not the actual elevators here. See the walls behind them in the elevator? This is when they actually turn on the proton pack. This is actually a set elevator because if you look at the elevators here, see what I mean? All right, maybe we should go ahead and switch these things on. Going up. I just hit a random floor. I love this thing. We've got a licensed nuclear accelerator on our back. Ooh, yeah, as you can see, they didn't film that in these elevators. And now on the fourth floor of the Biltmore, as you can see, the hallways are much different than they are in the movies. Kind of similar though. Come in, Ray. He's right here, Ray. He's looking at me. But they wanted us to think that they were on the fourth floor because if you see this room number right by Slimer, Room 433, so I'm gonna go to 433 and see if anything matches up, but I did overhear Ivan Reitman say on commentary that they built these hallways on a set. It's still cool to be on the fourth floor. And on the fourth floor, they're embracing filming locations down here at the Biltmore. That's a scene from Mad Men. Filmed right in the lobby. Okay, so that's 433 right there. 
someone's cleaning the room. Hey, what the hell are you doing? So, if this screenshot was legit, if they really filmed it here, here you go. Slimer coming at Vinkman. 4.33. If it was filmed here, much has changed. That's so cool. I know it wasn't filmed here, but it's still cool. So if it was actually filmed here, about right down here is where Vinkman got slimed. That's great. Actual physical contact. And there it is. I knew they had to have it. Ghostbusters 1984. That's them coming in the hotel right downstairs. Also the same year as Ghostbusters and Beverly Hills Cop filmed here, Splash. Daryl Hannah and Tom Hanks. I didn't know that. What? Pretty in Pink? I did not know that. They filmed a lot here. There are pictures all the way down these walls of movies that were filmed here. All right, going down. Back to the lobby to try to find the ballroom. Don't cross the streams moment. That was actually filmed here in the hotel. So now back in the lobby. Those doors right down there are the doors the Ghostbusters came into. So when the Ghostbusters go into the ballroom and find Slimer, when they cross the streams, the first trapping of a ghost happens. That was in the former Millennial Ballroom, which is now the hotel lobby, which is right here. That ballroom has been converted to the lobby. This is the doorway you saw the Ghostbusters come in and out of after they trapped the ghost. They had the trap and they told the concierge if he, they didn't pay up, if he didn't pay up, he could put it right back in there. That all happened right here. We're gonna walk in the room and match up the ceiling. Wow, okay. This is where it happened. Don't cross the streams was said right here. Okay, so the door was just to my right. Here we are, the front desk to the lobby is on the back wall, you see it there? That was the same location as the buffet bar in the Millennium Ballroom. If you look at the crown molding, the ceilings, the tile, everything matches up. The flowers were still standing, oh my gosh. I think I see where that table was when Venkman rips the <laughs> tablecloth. That's one of my favorite lines, by the way. That was all here, man. And the trap right in the center of the room got the screenshot in the lower right hand corner to show you what's going on here holy cow this is it freaking slimer notice the crown molding to the left behind him as he's chugging that bottle looky here slimer now that wasn't this wall they're all it's symmetrical it was behind the front desk over here to the left, the actual spot. Yeah, so right there. This was the buffet. This is where the table was, all the food. The tables they turned over. Slimer in that shot, like right there. That's so cool. Oh man, I'm losing my mind. This is, this is amazing. And here he is, I miss him so much, Dr. Egon Spangler, writer of Ghostbusters himself, co-writer with Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis. And he's launching, for the first time, the Proton Pack. Look behind him. You see this lion right there? That sculpture? Check this out. He's standing right here. Right in front of the main lobby desk. You can clearly see that behind him. In the background there. See those two lines between the Proton Beam? Right here. And the lion right there in the right hand corner because of the walls haven't changed i could literally match up every millisecond of each of the scenes in here check out the crown molding in the corner over there so that is right there so the table that venkman pulls the tablecloth off off because it's like right before him there it was right here the flowers are still standing right here watch this the flowers are still standing and there goes the trap the chandeliers are gone because it's no longer a ballroom but slimer right there before the glass look at this 
right there. Slimer in the screenshot. And here's a screenshot. The widest angle you see of the front doors of the Millennium Ballroom. Notice the two angels before the woodwork of the doors. There's the concierge. Check this out. Here you go. Doors are gone, but that was right here. And also, we can put that thing right back in there. And Bill Murray's, one of his most famous lines, we came, we saw, we kicked its ass. <laughs> Almost want to say it just because I'm right here. I think I, I think I get to say it, right? We came, we saw. I also love this guy's expression over here in the far right corner when Bill Murray says that line. He's like, what did he just say? <laughs> and look at this. This is cool. I can pinpoint where he was standing. Look at the pattern behind him. That guy was standing right here. You can see that flower kind of behind him too. As Bill Murray was coming out the former door here. Millennium Ballroom, now the lobby. Also, I have to add this. When the guy backs away, the opposite shot from out the door, you can see this right behind him to the left. Who liked that guy's character? I love that guy. He's awesome. He's been in a couple other things. I think he may have been in Trading Places or another Dan Aykroyd movie. I can't, can't place it, but I've definitely seen him in a few things in the 80s. And also, they revised his role in Ghostbusters the video game. And Walt Disney was once here. Check this out. Thalberg Award winner received that here in 1942. Walt's been here. The Sedgwick Hotel from the Ghostbusters. That was incredible. So far, this has been a great morning. We're gonna head to the next and last filming location as far as Ghostbusters here in downtown LA. It's actually just a block away. Forget I said a block away. It's actually right across the street the Los Angeles Public Library. No, this isn't 5th and 42nd back in New York. That served as the exterior library from Ghostbusters. We've shown that many of times before, but this was the interior. 630 West 5th Street. So the interior scenes, when we see a ghost for the first time in Ghostbusters, the get her scene, the symmetrical book stacking, the ectoplasmic residue, in the basement, when you see the lady get scared by the ghost in the beginning, those scenes were filmed here, not the scenes that you see Egon Spangler for the first time, the Ghostbusters meeting up with him. That is actually the New York Public Library. But the scenes where the ghost, the get her scene, those were filmed in the basement of this library. And because I am here on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day, everyone, the library is closed. Now, that's all right, because there is no way we're going to be able to see or match anything up. Where that was filmed in the basement is currently an office. It is off limits to the public. We could probably get special permission to get down there. Not today, obviously. Maybe we'll come back another time. But that area has changed. There was a fire in that portion of the library several years ago and it burned up all the books and everything you see down there is gone and it's been gutted, it's being rearranged. So we are not going to be able to see that location. It's completely changed. I am just thrilled that I got inside the actual Ghostbusters HQ today and was able to match up some screenshots in the Biltmore. I didn't expect at least 75% of what you saw in this video today. So I am completely shocked. That's one reason why I wanted to tag on the tour I'm about to take in Culver City at Sony Studios. However, I got so much more than I expected. This could be a whole video on its own. I could actually just end it right here and do a separate video of the Sony Studios tour. Welcome to Inglewood. I have some time to kill. I've got a few hours before my tour starts in Culver City, so I thought I'd come over to Inglewood to grab something to eat, something very iconic. The world's famous Randy's Donuts. This is not too far from Sony Studios. I had to come over here. I haven't eaten anything today either, so this is gonna be my lunch. I have been here before. Actually, I think this is my third time here. I came here once back in 94 with my parents. I remember the donut. I remember specifically coming over here and seeing this. And then five years ago when I was in LA, I went through the drive-through. 
So this is technically my third time here. I got the churro donut and the chocolate twist and an iced coffee. I didn't realize how much food that was. Whoops. Oh well. One in LA. Here we are. We've arrived at Sony Studios. I'm so freaking stoked. What a day. No freaking way. Ecto-1? Whoa! And right across from the main gates of Sony Pictures. Now this was formerly Columbia Pictures. Columbia Pictures. Ghostbusters. Here are my check-in instructions. Please arrive 15 to 20 minutes prior to your tour time and pull into the Overland Gate. Guests must be 12 years or older. Photo ID required for all adults. Free parking. And it's about time to head to that parking garage. Okay, I'm in. There's a drone that just went up there. Whoa. Parked on the second level of the parking garage. I'm gonna head down here and, and check into the tour. I think it's at the bottom. Oh my gosh, how did I forget that they filmed Jeopardy here? It's like my favorite game show of all time and Wheel of Fortune. Just checked in, Columbia Pictures right there. The visitor center right here at the bottom of the garage. They said about 10 to 15 minutes, they will start the tour. They have a waiting area, lots of benches, restrooms, vending machines. This is really nice so far. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, so you can line up right over here. We're gonna do a quick security check. And we're entering officially. Tour's not officially begun yet. There we go, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. There's a drone. That's the drone we saw. I think I overheard him say that this was Ghostbusters related. my gosh, where are we? Holy crap, Johnny Five is alive. Short Circuit 2, Johnny Five. Whoa, and there's Slappy from Goosebumps. This looks like a giant prop room. They said feel free to look around. All right, uh, uh, welcome everybody to Sony. Uh, welcome to our studio museum. Uh, my name is Logan. I'm gonna be your tour guide today. But we're gonna kick it off right in here. Uh, so where we are right now, this is our studio museum. Uh, all the props and costumes you're gonna see here today, they're all totally real and authentic. I promise. Feel free to take pictures, videos, all that stuff while we're in here. Uh, the one thing that is not uh, real is this. It's a Seinfeld set. Oh, it does uh, look like Seinfeld. Uh, but I promise it's still cool. Jerry Seinfeld has been in here. He has sat on the couch and he's done commercials in here. So he likes it. Uh, this door does open, so if you want to come to my Kramer, feel free. Uh, we also have an Oscar and an Emmy over there. But those guys are real. You can pick those up real quick right there. Uh, we'll spend about 10 15 minutes in here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and enjoy. All right. The Seinfeld set. I've always wanted to do that. I love the Hamptons episode. I was in the pool. Of course, all of the Spider-Man movies were filmed here. Oh wow, check that out. Spider-Man 2 props. Screen used and Spider-Man 3. <laughs> this is all screen used. Speaking of Spider-Man, whoa! Oh my gosh, there's Harry's suit. Doc Ock, Doc Ock, molds, miniature molds. There's so much to look at in here. Check it out. If you're not first, you're last. Will Ferrell's uniform, his driving suit from Talladega Nights. Kate McKinnon's Ghostbuster suit from the 2016 Ghostbusters. Jackpot from Ghostbusters Afterlife. McKenna Grace's suit, which is technically Egon Spangler's suit, her grandfather. Okay, I'm getting goosebumps. There's McKenna Grace wearing it as Phoebe. That's amazing. And what else is amazing? That's from Men in Black. That's from Men in Black. That's cool. It might be three. They've got all kinds. Jumanji, Venom. Venom, Cinderella, 
Breaking Bad. That's Walter White's. Oh wow, that's Walter White's outfit. There he is, right there. That's so awesome. Peg Bundy, Katie Siegel. Married with children. Ow! We were asked to, uh... oh my gosh. I didn't realize they weighed so much. I think that's what they always say when <laughs> the first time they get one too. Wow, I'm gonna do some curls here. Check out this. Oh, that's even worse. I'd like to thank everyone. That's it, that's, what, that was, that's the most simplest speech, right? I'd like to thank everyone and walk off stage. There's some more Men in Black props over here. We got the noisy cricket. No, I don't see it. Oh, definitely, definitely the memory flash device there. The Jumanji board? Get out of here. That's amazing. Whoa, huge, huge fan of that movie. 22 Jump Street. I see some more Talladega Nights up there. I'm just gonna do a little sweep. You can take a screenshot. Speaking of the noisy cricket, it's right there. There are, there are so many props in here from so many of our favorites. There is the clock from Groundhog Day. There's a signed helmet by Brad Pitt from Moneyball. And a league of their own. Rockford Peaches ticket, ball glove, and bats. Oh. Look at that, McLovin's ID from Superbad. <laughs> I forgot to show the window of the Seinfeld apartment. Yeah, this is cool, okay. He just said, we're about ready to start the tour, so our time is up in here. Look at this. This is from Bullet Train, 2022. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, also, the Jumanji I really like, board. Uh, Men in Black, right? The denuralizer, pretty iconic. You can press it, uh, erase someone's memory. Uh, the way they designed this and came up with this is it's really just a toothbrush holder. Uh, oh. Someone spray painted it, redesigned it, and that was that. Pretty amazing, pretty bizarre. Um, also, Groundhog Day, right? That alarm clock. They actually found that at a yard sale. Uh, I cooked it with remote, picked it back to six whenever they need to get it back to six, right? Because that's more convenient than waiting all day for that one shot. Uh, any super bad fans? Right? McLovin. McLovin. Right, that McLovin ID, pretty iconic. <laughs> that actual gas station is right around the corner from here. So, if you want to live out your McLovin fantasies, that's the place to get arrested. All right, we're going to head on out of here, though. Check out our screen. Uh, this has been Sony. I've been Logan. Bye. Thanks, guys. Into the tour. Thank you. All right, guys, you might have guessed it. The tour just ended. I was asked not to film the tour. I had a feeling that might happen. I was also told I could take photos only on the outside of the studios, which I took a lot of photos. The only photos I was able to take inside the studios was actually the Jeopardy studio. I got inside my car here because it's nice and quiet. I'm in the Sony Pictures parking garage. The tour has ended two hours. Was not able to film anything. No video whatsoever on the tour, which makes sense. I had a feeling they want to keep things secret. They don't want to give all the movie magic away. Right here, I'm in front of Ghost Corpse. This is where, this is the main office for the Ghostbusters, uh, Afterlife, and uh, Frozen uh, Empire, which is coming out soon. They're, they are actually still filming that parts of that movie. Ivan Reitman way right there on the corner. Uh, rest his soul. So they did not film... Uh, any of the Ghostbusters 1984 in here, according to my tour guide, I'm not so sure 100% if that's true or not. Uh, this was formerly uh, Columbia Pictures. Still is. Columbia is still a thing. They're, Sony bought them out in 1989. Um, and TriStar. TriStar Columbia, its sister company. And also, this used to be MGM Studios. So today I got to see where... Uh, Oh my gosh, I got to see where Judy Garland sang Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Um, also, Stage 15, which is their largest uh, soundstage, that's where they filmed Munchkin Land. Uh, they filmed Wizard of Oz inside these studios. I got to see stuff like the Breaking Bad vehicles. There's Walter White's Aztec. Uh, there's my head inside of the Breaking Bad RV. Look at this. Hold on. There's the RV right there. That's from Breaking Bad. Also, uh, the Ricky Bobby car, Talladega Nights, was out there. That vehicle is from um, uh, 22 Jump Street. There's the Ricky Bar uh, Bobby 
race car. If you're not first, you're last. And then a few moments before that, I took a lot of pictures. I was going fast. I like that car, Mr. Deeds. There's the 2016 Ecto-2. Now, they did not take us to the Ecto-1, which I showed you as we were passing. Uh, it's just parked out by the street. So thankfully, I got to like drive by that and see that. And they have a little back lot where they can film some exterior shots if they need to. It's very small. Most of the stuff that's filmed here is inside a sound stage. Right there is the original gates to MGM Studios. Now on like the north side, we kind of walked right by there, just took a couple of pictures. Right before this, we were inside the Barbara Streisand sound stage, which is where John Williams, also they filmed Shark Tank here, that's the Clark Gable building, where John Williams uh, conducted, uh, composed, and recorded most of his soundtracks. We're talking Indiana Jones, E.T. They took us in. I sat in one of the orchestra chairs. Uh, I, I saw where Judy Garland recorded Somewhere Over the Rainbow, same soundstage, where they recorded a bunch of John Williams' work. I saw where Steven Spielberg took a nap on the couch as he was hanging out with John um, I saw the soundboard. That was really cool. I wish I could have took photos in there, but no, um, they don't allow that. That is something I didn't know I was going to get into today. Uh, really going to come back someday and, uh, enjoy this again. This was such a treat. I saw so many sound stages. I couldn't go into them all. They kind of just showed us some plaques like this one and it had, um, I'll just show you stage seven. You can kind of make it out there. It's Captain Courageous was filmed here, Clear and Present Danger, and Jerry Maguire, Tom Cruise, and Harrison Ford were in sound stage seven. They were in those movies. Uh, and one of my absolute favorite times of the tour, we were inside the Jeopardy studio. I love Jeopardy. And uh, I, I honestly just forgot. I didn't realize they filmed this here. This was a complete surprise and they did allow us to take photos inside because Jeopardy uh, does not really care if you take photos. Right there, that's where Alex Trebek stood right there. Now Ken Jennings, sadly Alex Trebek, as we know, passed a few years ago. Jeopardy will never be the same to me. These are the judges chairs here. Got to see the judges chairs. There's a, there, there's a good shot of the set. Check that out. Got to take a lot of photos inside here, as you see. I like to document stuff. Walking out, there's a break room. There's some memorabilia. Uh, Alex Trebek, there's a medal he wore, or won. There's all the Emmys that Jeopardy has won. I've always wanted to be on Jeopardy. I love that show. That's a photo opportunity when you first walk into the studio. Uh, there's a, actually a map I just took a photo of, of the whole lot, take a screenshot. There's the studio, Alex Trebek stage. I think this was studio number 10, maybe? I think I took a picture of it, that's our tour guide. Right there, that's where we walked in. There's a picture I took right underneath the water tower me pointing at the Columbia Studios. And this is right when we came out of the room that I was able to film with all the props. We began the tour at stage 30. Now there is a lot of good stuff filmed in here. Check this out. Specifically Poltergeist, Poltergeist 2, Starship Troopers, What Lies Beneath, Spider-Man, all the Spider-Mans, uh, Planet of the Apes 2001, War of the Worlds, Angels and Demons, uh, Castaway, they said that they filmed a bunch of the water scenes inside Stage 30 for a bunch of stuff, including Castaway, uh, Benjamin Button, uh, Poltergeist. The whole entire house from the first movie was replicated inside Stage 30. That's how they got it to rock and shake. Shaft, The Unsinkable Molly Brown. Just take a screenshot. All of the Spider-Man movies were filmed here on property of course Sony Pictures and also included with the tour this nice little folder thing with my photo I took that on a green screen about mid tour they took us in a room and there was a photographer and he took our picture that's not the real stage we actually saw the real stage uh, a little before that moment and they handed 
us this picture, this nice little thing at the end. That was really nice. Well worth it. I strongly recommend this tour and I will be back. I uh, can't wait to bring Chris the girl uh, out here. I, I couldn't, there's no possible way I could tell you everything we learned or saw or did. We saw a lot of cool stuff, a lot of fun facts were thrown at you. They filmed a lot of stuff here. And uh, yeah, uh, John Williams, Judy Garland, Clark Gable, just uh, Cary Grant, North by Northwest was shot here. That's my one of my favorite Hitchcock movies, if not one, my favorite. I did not know what I was getting into today. I just knew that Ghost Corpse was here, and that's what brought me here. So um, the Jeopardy moment, wow. Getting to see the Jeopardy stage up close like that, that was a dream come true. Uh, yeah, a lot of dreams come true today, as you saw. Wow, what a day, what a day. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, I think I'm just gonna end it right here in the Sony Pictures parking lot. Wow, what a video to click on. Thanks for watching. If you stuck to the end, thank you so much for you Ghostbuster fans out there. I hope you enjoyed seeing these locations, getting inside of the Ghostbusters HQ, seeing its current state here in early 2024. That was one of my favorite moments I've ever had. And I'm so glad I could document it. Thank you for watching. If it's your first time here, please subscribe below and come on back. I have a selection of filming location videos on the main page of my YouTube channel. A lot of Ghostbusters uh, filming locations over there. I did the entire locations to Ghostbusters 2 a few years back in New York City. Thank you all for watching. Please know that you're awesome, that you're loved, and no matter who you are, what you're going through, I believe in my heart there's always much ahead for you guys. Thanks for making this channel possible and keeping it going. I just can't believe I had the day I just had. Wow. Thanks to the universe. All right, I'm wrapping it up. See you guys. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye-bye. There's much ahead. Goodbye, Sony Studios.